Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to 2090. We've time traveled yet again in Darkfall 2 Lights Out. This is part 7, alright? Let's continue exploring this futuristic sort of base we've got here, okay? So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at here. You know, let alone Ben, he has no idea. Surely. And that looks like some sort of engine, like a rocket engine or something? I don't know. We have a light here. No tridents allowed or something? Or, or only tridents allowed or something? I don't know. Uh... Right. I suppose... Are we underwater right now? I, just, I suppose we might be underwater. Seeing as we went down the lift and we were already... in the boiler room before and then the... Yeah! Yeah, I suppose we must be a, a few meters below sea level. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Um... Let's stay away from what seems to be nuclear warheads or whatever the fuck they are. Let's just continue going through these boxes. <laughs> An early prototype of a companion cube, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe this turns into aperture science at some point. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything too much to find here. Uh, Alright. Now what is that? Seriously. <laughs> I, I I just don't know. Okay, yeah, obviously don't want to uh, have anything flammable, especially when there's like dynamite and stuff lying around. Right, okay. Is that a vent? Ah, oh, we can use something. Is it this? Oh, it is this! Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> it's coming in useful already. Look at that precision! Alright, what's in here then? Ah, uh, we're going old school with the lantern again. Oh, it's me. I'm in. I... It didn't look that big. Holy shit, how thin am I? <laughs> uh, well, we're, uh, we're crawling through the vents then. Okay. Honestly, I'm shocked I can spin around, but uh, where are we going to go? Let's, let's go? Let's go this way. Let's go, I guess, right. I don't suppose there's going to be any details on the wall or anything, right? Kinda hope not. Let's just see where this goes. A couple of needles down here, what the hell? What's that? Is that as far as we go? Maybe we have to, um... Okay, we're not going through that vent. Uh, that's just the light coming through it. Uh, okay, maybe let's go the other way? Maybe I took a wrong turn. So, here we are at the beginning again, so... Can we go through there? How the hell are we squeezing through there? Okay, sure. Honestly, from, from what I saw when I sort of zoomed in with that magnifying glass and everything, I thought this was going to be like, I don't know, like a foot by a foot? I don't know how the hell I'm doing this. Alright. Um, <laughs> feels like if I stay around here for too long, I'm going to melt or something. Seems kind of hot. So, let's see. This way? Yeah, I guess. This game has taken so many strange, strange turns, but I think it's all the more wonderful for it. It's very, very different to the journal. Alright. Is, is this what we're meant to be heading to? Maybe? Yes? We're out? We're out, I think. Okay. Uh, oh. oh, bloody hell. Even 2090. We've still got spirits running around. Um, Alright. So, here we go. Let's... Let's explore what we can. See what we find. What's this? Oh, right, hang on. It's another little sort of tablet thing. I'm sorry, what was that? You need to speak up. What the hell? Uh, gibberish and then time will come and time will fall. Malachi knows. Malachi is waiting. Lost, lonely, waiting for you. You have come to us. All is prepared. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Like us, you shall be like us. I feel strong. My body is changing. You shall change. Malachi will cleanse you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And the end of that uh, inventory log. Right. Again, the 29th of April. Is it always the 29th of April? No matter, like, what year we're in? Maybe that's how the time traveling works? I don't know. I guess I'll have to ask Haddon Industries. I think that's about that. Yep, that's, that's it. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, yeah. This way? I suppose. Have we got anything on the shelf? 
like little test tubes and, and beakers and stuff like that on both sides, but no, nothing I want to interact with. We've still got some slots to fill up, I see, but maybe uh, maybe that's in a different era. Let's go around. Okay. Right. Uh, something over here, maybe? Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, we've got some beakers to choose from. No, we don't. We don't actually pick up any of these. Uh, sure. What's that? Ah, right. Nice to know that some things haven't really changed in all these years. <laughs> Still can't pick up these tools that I'm sure would come in handy. That's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, oh, we got some cupboards down here. That are locked. Never mind then. Uh, alright. Um, okay, what's this? Uh, right. Um, is that for a, a handprint or something? I don't know. Three? Three, 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 five, two, one. Can I use something here? I'm not seeing that spanner icon, you know. What are these lights for? Anything? Maybe they're just lights. Maybe they're just normal lights. I don't know. I really don't know what that does, but, uh... I guess we should probably leave it alone. <laughs> probably shouldn't mess with things that we don't really know how to operate. Oh. Oh, oh, that was a door? Oh, okay. Uh, right, we're going through. <laughs> right, uh, what's this? Cortexa? Cortexa, what's Cortexa? Right, uh, let's keep going, I guess. Alright, okay. This way? Yeah? Uh, right, so I was facing this way. That's where I came from. Left? Straight ahead? Or right? I think let's go left. So we got, like, another door here. Right, okay. Let's maybe not go through, though, because we have... Oh, Dios! A deep exploration of space. That's what it stands for. The model name. Malachi. That's the thing! That's the thing that's, uh that's back a few millennia. 2090, that was it sort of like, that's when it was built, I guess. And what about the other side? Oh yeah, 2056 to oh, 2035. Oh yeah, that was number one. Ophelia, Byron. They've all got names, it seems, these, these capsules. And that one's scratched out for some reason. That's kind of odd. Okay, uh, yeah, let's, let's go through this door now. Let's see what we find. Okay, <laughs> nice and shiny. Yep. It's all very, uh, kind of crisp around here, you know? Oh, hang on, what we got? Uh, that laser thing again? No, it's not gonna work. Do you want some money? <laughs> no, some old-fashioned pound coins. Uh, still need to have a look at this floppy disk. Still don't know what's, uh, what's on that. So I guess I need to go back to 2004, uh, to, to do that. Can I just jam this into it? Hmm. Right. I think I'm I'm missing something. This has probably got something to do with the door. It doesn't seem like I can open it like I can the others. So let's go back and let's try another direction, okay? So, yeah. So let's go straight ahead this time. Okay. Wait, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. No, just <laughs> another wall with a very bright sort of sheen on it. Okay. Cor Cortexa again, or, or Exa, or whatever the hell it is. Can't seem to interact with it. I guess it's like the, um, the computer system. Okay. Yeah, let's go in. Right. Uh, some sort of medical area, perhaps? Oh, what was that down there? That yellow thing? Oh, can't see it. Um, okay. God, this, this actually does feel so alien to, uh, Dark Fourth Journal. It's nice that it's different. I'm wondering if it's just going to go, like, way over the top and be way too different, though, you know? I guess only time will tell. It's sort of bordering on that, but it's very, very exciting to explore this area. Okay, everything is just, like, so reflective and so shiny. Okay. Oh my god. What? What the fuck is this? 
who is that? Well, is it a who or is it a what? Is this some sort of robot? Some sort of AI? Actually, they look like the things at the end of AI, if you've seen the film. Sorry for spoilers, but they do. Um, right, I, <laughs> I... I don't know what I'm looking at here. I can't interact with it. Uh, uh, right. What about, like, the feet or something? No, 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 no. Uh, I guess I can only just sort of, like, lean through. Hang on, though, hang on. Let's, um... Yeah, let's, let's go round the side. Can we do that? Oh, maybe not. No, this is in its own little sort of, like, compartment sort of area. Shit. Anyway, uh, yeah, what have we got here? X-rays. Is that actually human? I... I don't know. Uh, what have we got here? We've got pills, tablets, drugs. We have more needles. Okay. Can we take any of this? Maybe these are what's going to fill up all the slots. Nothing from this screen, by the looks of it. Over here. More needles. Scissors? No, scissors I'm sure would come in handy for something. Amalex. More pills. What's that? Uh... That looks like a cigarette butt, to be honest. Or... Like a shotgun shell, or something similar. I can't interact with it. I don't know why I'm looking at it, really. It's kind of odd. Um, what about the cupboards down here? Can we have a look? No, that one's slightly ajar, but no, still can't have a look. Uh, okay, let's back away. What's up with the, the chair? That's pretty bog standard by the looks of it. Very old school as well. It, oh, what's going on with the x-rays? Is that a pentagram? Is there a pe- hang on. <laughs> Looks like there might be a pentagram in the brain as well. And I'm thinking that glowing body behind me might actually be human. I- I, I just- I don't know right now. I just don't. We, anyway, we can't interact with the, uh, the x-rays. So, let's, um... Let's have a look at the computer system. Let's see if we can work this out. Uh, or, no, I guess I don't want to touch it. Probably because this is way above what Ben ever thought he'd ever do. This must be blowing his mind right now. Okay, ah, here we go, okay. Uh, ah, that's, that's really blurry, I can barely see it. It is medical, age... 290490, right? Don't know what that's meant to be. Those three blocks. It's like something's been redacted or something, you know? Um, something to do with his wrist? Can I use the mouse? The mouse looks very, very strange. The light? No. What about this one over here? No? Okay. Um, let's take another look at it. Maybe let's have a look at his wrist. His wrist. If we can. Now, we can't peel this back, so we can only just see his head, but we can't do anything with the head. We're just going to leave him there. This is crazy. This is just crazy. I, right, I... I don't know. Are we, are we done with this area? I don't feel like I'm done with this area. I feel way out of my element right now. I feel like... I, I haven't really achieved... anything. This is just... more confusing. Endlessly confusing. And, uh, and no beeps as of yet. Are we going to get some beeps in 2090? Maybe. I guess only time will tell. No pun intended, I suppose. Right, okay, so there's another direction to go in, isn't there? So I've got to go back here. So I've been through there. Yeah, I remember seeing that. I've been that way. Right. Okay. Yeah, deep exploration of space. Um, about them, okay, yeah. Founded by Professor Tracy Heath in 2034, following the perfection of transmat technology by the Cambridge Institute of Matter Transmission. Bloody hell. The global organization goes from strength to strength. Based upon theories of dark matter manipulation and the stability of antimatter creation, Heath presented a possible transmat scenario to the global science community as early as 2024. With funding from various sources, including generous backing from Hatton Industries, they're still alive and kicking then, uh, Heath was able to build her first deep space probe in 2035, named Ophelia. 
The probe had its first launch from the newly built facility at SE037 off the Cornish coast, which is where we are right now. SE037, right. Um, how very sort of sterile a name that is, but there you go. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is the third one, Juan Luis. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just go through them all if we can. This is the one that I want to be focusing on, I think. I think this one's Malachi. Anyway, Ophelia. Right, I'm going to give my voice a little bit of a rest. I'll just look out for any important details. Won the Nobel Prize. Nice. And a second probe went into production, which was Byron. Right, it's got a basic AI on it. Yeah. Installed by Haddon Industries. Okay, so the third one. Juan Luis, yeah. Manipulate the substance known as dark matter. Hmm. The fourth in the series, Malachi. And this is Malachi. Holy shit, there's a lot to read. And I think I actually might read this one. This might be important. Anyway, following the failure of Probe 3, uh, Juan Luis, it was realized a far more advanced AI and transmat system should be installed in this fourth probe in the series. The AI would have the power to self-execute the matter transmission sequence and effectively control its own launch and directional pathfinding using a highly advanced stellar recognition database. No ground control would be necessary to manipulate the probe's movements in the outer atmosphere and beyond into deep space. Malachi is also able to locate anomalies and unidentified or undefined space matter independently of human instruction thanks to the new AI software on board. This effectively gives Malachi a mind of its own and allows the probe to make calculated decisions and affect the nature of matter itself. Right. Right, I'm, I'm wondering how involved Malachi was with, with, with Drake. Was he being manipulated by a probe? I guess it's possible. I was expecting something a bit more sort of like demonic, ghostly, a bit more paranormal, but it's uh, it seems to be more science fiction. But anyway, yeah, uh, some pressure groups showed concern that giving a machine the power of matter manipulation was unethical and potentially dangerous. Hmm, they might have been right. Never one to taunt the public, Heath installed a failsafe system known as the Keeper. This standalone function is integral to Malachi's AI and independently queries all decisions made by the probe. In the event of mission failure, the Keeper software is able to override the main AI and return the probe to the point and time of origin. Uh, launched at text missing, and apparently Malachi will return to here upon completion of its mission. Waiting further information. Yeah, well, I don't think it's exploring deep space so much. Uh, yeah, it didn't get that far at all, really. It just travelled through time. Bloody dark matter for you, I suppose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing on this wall. That's probably for the best. I think my mind is already blown enough. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, what the f- okay, hang on. Okay, that's either here to spy on me or shoot me, and I don't really want to figure out which. So, maybe let's make this quick. What do we got here? Mitsuyu... Mitsuyu Taku. Open. Right. And on the right side? Maria Ortega open. Okay. Doesn't look open to me. Oh right, hang on. Okay, there's one over here. It's not shooting me. I guess it's more like a security camera or something? Ah. Ah, I see, right. So the button's down here. Oh, oh that doesn't work. Um, anyway, um, yeah, let's, let's go into Mitsuya Taku's quarters. <laughs> and now I'm reminded of Soma. <laughs> I, I, this this area is reminding me of so many things. Right. Looks like there might be quite a lot of stuff to do here. Maybe quite a lot of things to inspect. Ready to scan. Okay, what's this? Kid. Oh no. No, no, no. That's not a floppy disk reader, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> that would be too unbelievable. Everything else, like glowing human bodies and stuff like that, I get it, but. Uh, not that. And actually, I just realised. That's not- that, that- that body in there. 
That's not Drake, is it? Or, or someone else that we read about last time, I can't remember the name. Someone who was acting strange, the guy who was working on the elevator. The guy who I think was maybe being taken over by whatever, like Malachi, I guess. Hmm. Anyway, let's just go through everything. Lantern's not going to work. <laughs> not the uh, the laser pen, the laser drill, screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. No, I guess we're looking for something else. Okay, that's that's fine. That seems like a bit of a waste of electricity, to be perfectly honest, but there you go. That's what the future holds for us, apparently. Smoking, right, yeah. Yeah, that thing that I saw in the beaker, I think, actually was a cigarette butt. Cafe now? Yes, please. Oh, sorry, no thank you. No, I don't have the time. There you go. Mitsuyu Taku, systems programmer. Uh, family friend. Twitching hand. What's going on there? Robotic hand, maybe? Don't know. Um... 2090s artwork, maybe? Sculptures? Prisms? I, I, I don't know. This is so far removed from what I was expecting out of this game. It really is. Okay, we actually have a book. A book! I know what a book is. The Well of Loneliness, I think that was called. Radcliffe Hall, can we have a little read? No? Okay, I get to save my voice a little bit. Yeah. Wow, alright. It seems like smoking is still a bit of a crutch in 2090, unfortunately. A couple of buttons here that I can't use. Okay. Got another tablet thing. What have we got here? Frequency of occurrence, results of throwing two dice. Right. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I've deleted it. Oh, no, no. I've just gone to the, uh, the data log. A thief is amongst us. Someone has been poking around in my room. It must be someone here at the base, as there have been no visitors to the island. I hate to suspect anyone, but I must find out who it is. I got a print reader from the store, and some sam sample slides, I guess? I've got a partial print from my desk, but I have no idea who the print belongs to. I need more examples to cross-reference and get the DEOS, get the DEOS staff profiles installed on my vid screen. I'll find the culprit, and work out why they're doing this. There's more. There's more. Okay, a fake, a fraud, an imposter. Someone is not who they seem. The fingerprint database has been erased from the system. The OS can't er erase data without instruction. Someone has purposefully erased the data. I'll check out the user logs and attempt to pinpoint the culprit, but I'm guessing they've covered their tracks. I suspect Magnus. Yeah, Magnus. I think that was the guy we read about last time. He's been uh, so strange of late. Ever since he began that repair job on the lift. That's it. He's up to something. He probably was. There's no way of proving it. Or is there? The database was originally backed up on DVDs. <laughs> in 2090? Now that's unbelievable. Uh, so in theory, they should still be around here somewhere. A stalker. Alright. Someone is stalking the corridors of Dios. I think that's what I'm just going to say instead of D-E-O-S. Uh, I can see them sneaking around via my security camera. So they are cameras rather than turrets. Good to know. I could be wrong, but they have some kind of suit on which gives off light. They appear to glow. It's Ivan's birthday party tonight. I'm on food duty. I haven't cooked flesh in over 12 years. That's one way of putting it. Uh, but it'll give me a chance to observe the crew and their conversations. I still suspect Magnus, but Hart is also behaving very strangely. He lost the last probe. Malachi has gone. Uh -huh. No one should blame Hart, but we do. He's the scapegoat. There must be one. Four million pounds, lost forever. Okay, uh, the party's going well. Plenty of booze going around. Uh, Dios are trying to kill us with alcoholic poisoning. The juice gets the tongues wagging. Magnus is very quiet. He sits and stares. There's no attempt to connect with the rest of the team. Tonight, once the team have retired, will be the perfect time to get some prints. I must find a match to that partial. Uh, I'll grab a Xylite from the store, though. The code is three... The, hang on, the code is something I should probably write down. Uh, the code is... 391865, and that's a xylite, or a. Yeah, a, a xylite, I think. Um, and that's used to locate faults in the base structure and potential weak spots. But it's also perfect for spotting fingerprints. Getting one from the store will make my life easier. Okay. Did we just skip a bit? I think I went from like four to eight, but anyway, war. I thought they were going to kill each other. 
Hart and Magnus went head to head. I blamed the wine. Hart was moping and drunk. It's all my fault, I lost the probe, blah blah blah. Maria tried to comfort him, but saying it wasn't his fault, but it was a lie. No one knows what happened to that probe, apart from me of course. Uh, but Magnus, the freak, he started mumbling. He's calling to me. He's alive. He's with us. What the hell is he on about? I think he's having a breakdown. Years spent down in this place, deep under the sea, can do that to a man. Uh, something's up. The main power has just gone and the base is on lockdown. But Mal has just requested my immediate attention in Medwing. Right, uh, what's going on? Damn, I've spilled coffee all down myself. <laughs> it burns! So I better write that down as well. Yeah, okay. So that's the, the end of that log. Okay, um... So 391865 is a code to get a Xylite. Which can check for fingerprints, amongst other things. Okay. What the was that? It's not another one, is it? Hang on, hang, hang on. Manhattan? Oh yeah, very retro. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I, I don't use the goggles right now, because... I think I, I've had it up to here with time travel at the moment. I think there's way too much going on. So, we've got DVDs and we've also got floppy disks. For some reason. I guess they're advanced floppy disks, right? Probably carrying more than uh, one and a half megabytes. Can we use any of these? Right. Ah! Ah, oh, we've got another item, okay. Oh. Uh, these are the slides, right? Okay, good to know. There's a couple of boxes. I, I just... I guess I just picked out the one. Right, um... Hmm. Okay. Um, anything else down here? Can we, like... Okay, we've got some, like, cabinets or something up here, I think. But no, we can't have a look at those. What do we got over here? A glass. A couple of bottles. Toothpaste. Okay. A mirror. What's that? Oh, it's the bog. Oh, I see. Okay, fair enough. It's all in one room. Can't use it? No? <laughs> Wouldn't know where to start, would you, Ben? Okay, yeah. Was it this one? It's this one, apparently. Okay. Right, so Maria Ortega? Yeah, can't actually go in there, even though it's open. That's fair enough. Let's... Which way did I come in from? I think it was that way. So let's keep going. Okay, we got we got two more. Ivan, right. He recently had a birthday, I believe. Also open. It is. Okay. Hang on. Oh, okay. I thought that was the goggles playing up, but no, it's just the door. Right. What have you? <laughs> right, uh... Let's... Bloody hell. Let's let's see what we've got over on this side. What the hell is that? Oh, it's something I can use in some way. Okay. Does it need fixing with a laser screwdriver? Okay, I'll, I'll try the more primitive things. <laughs> no, that's not really working. Right, it's some sort of... toy, it looks like, actually. Kind of cool. There's a, a tablet down here, which we can't use. Or can we use it? I don't know. No, 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 we actually can't. That goes to the same thing. Yeah, I'm missing an item right now, it seems. That's fine. Raymond was thrilled with his new look. To my dearest son, Ivan. Right. We're thinking about you down there under the sea. And P.S. We found the robot you wanted, but don't you think you're getting a little old for these things? Right. Okay. <laughs> so it's not a toy, it's a robot. But really, it's it's a toy. Hang on. There you go. Ivan crossed. Software engineer, yeah. Uh, and what's this? Ivan, what happened to your time off? Those Dios people are treating you like a robot! <laughs> anyway, my sweet, I've included some new photos of me. I'm sorry about the poor quality. Hopefully they should keep you company down there in the depths of the sea. How did that last launch go? Can I expect to see your face on the CNM news broadcast? And that's from Tony. Right. Okay, so we've got some birthday presents, I suppose. I see a big one back there. Can we open this? <laughs> We're time traveling just to open someone else's presence. I mean, how bad can you be? I guess not. Uh, looks like we have a dolphin. We certainly do. Did I see a... Right, there's also a fetus up there. Anything else? 
Some sort of dinosaur, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Another present? No, don't do it. You didn't come to the future just so you can open people's presents. You're better than that, Ben. I wonder if this Q2A is what Fab Cola turned into. <laughs> right. Over here? Another tablet? Uh, oh god, what's this? Oh, well. An MP3 player? Really? In 2019? Mmm, some skewed visions of the future, I think, from Jonathan Bokes here, but yeah, okay. Right, wonderful. Uh, are there any more? Looks like one out of... one out of three. Shodan! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? There, there has absolutely got to be some System Shock influence in this. And that kind of proves it. <laughs> some of the areas upstairs before I crawled into the vent certainly reminded me of that. Is there a three? Mother. Okay, that's, that's enough futuristic music for me, I think. I don't think we're going to get anything out of that. Um, what's this? Sci-fi fan. Sapphire and steel. Holy... What's this? Oh, it's another item. Okay. Uh, ooh, maybe that... Is that going to go into that sort of like socket? What I thought might have been a floppy disk reader in the other person's room, maybe? Or maybe that's for that or something else. I don't know. Let's keep exploring. I'll go back and have a look at that in a moment. Uh, so that's that. We can't have a look at the, uh, the comic strip. Live 2089 to 2090, okay. So, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of pentagrams, actually. Is that a thing? I guess it's a thing now. And this is Tony, is it? Who sent the card? I guess. Right, is that that, then? Some sort of poster. Another toilet? Yep, can we use it? Nope. <laughs> Even in 2090, I still want to look down into a toilet bowl. Something is definitely wrong with me. Uh, Kraken. A calm sea is never empty. Nice. So movies are still a thing. Oh, the Dowerton Experiment, a new adventure game. <laughs> I'd kind of like to play that, actually. <laughs> um, alright. I think we're probably done. What is this? It looks like maybe some sort of like wardrobe or something. Something I can't interact with, though, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? Actually, is this it? Ah, no, 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 no. There you go. Okay. This is something to do with the robot. Yeah, it's got the same sort of colouring. We've got five buttons here. That don't seem to do anything? Is there something I need to, to press on this robot thing? No. No, that's the short answer. I don't think I can interact with that at all. It's just this, what I guess is a, like a remote. Right, I guess I'll come back to that. Maybe there's something in here that I've missed, something that will tell me how to use this thing? Hmm, don't know. I haven't seen an instruction manual or anything. Yeah, let's, let's leave and, and let's go into uh, Vimmel's room. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then, what do we got over here? Oh wow. Are they real? Wow, well, okay, maybe he collects antiques? That's some really old stuff. And what's this? Wow. Uh, they must be replicas, right? They've gotta be. Minster Lovell Hall in Oxfordshire. Huh. Seems a bit emptier than the other rooms, to be honest, but yeah, let's continue exploring. Let's see what we can find. Uh, yeah. What do we got over here? Okay. Ah. Ah, again, a tablet I can't interact with. But there you go, there's his, uh, his little ID badge. Software engineer. Science of... Oh, wow. That's a perfect replica of what I saw last time, isn't it? Oh, it's the Bronze Age. We know so little about the tribes of that time, circa 2000 BC. So it was 2000 BC? 
So, just over 4,000 years ago from now. Right. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Wait, can we use the, the goggles or something here to go there? No, no. <laughs> That's not how we do it. We don't have a shortcut. Uh, okay, what do we got? Some books over here? It's like the game knows I want to rest my voice a little bit, so, uh, yeah, nothing to read. Nothing to have a look at. These look like maps or something. And me being the map man, I thought I'd inspect them, but evidently not. Pestle and mortar? Nope. Interesting archway there. Okay. Uh, right. Something up here? Ooh. What's going on? Barbed wire? Some sort of field? Oxfordshire? Right. Is this 2090? I guess it might be. Oh. Oh, here, <laughs> here I was thinking, I was pressing the numbers. You just click on this keypad and it just goes to the next one. Right, I don't, don't really know what I'm trying to get out of that. Maybe nothing. Uh, okay, that's certainly a wardrobe. I think some shirts are poking out there, but I can't have a look at that. Again, I can't have a look at the view. Something down here? Surely. Right, yes. No. <laughs> no, sheets of paper, but I do not want to have a look at them. That's fine. And the toilet? Can't even inspect the toilet. No shelves or anything. Huh. Alright, well, there you go. That was that was his room. What's going on with that? Oh, that's the camera footage or something, right? Uh, okay, so... We've explored those two rooms. And there's yet more. Okay. Mag... Oh, right. Oh, removed. Ah, oh, no, I can't get in? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, uh, what about the other one? Corbin Hart, right? Open. It certainly is. We're in. Right. What are we? What are we doing here? Is that another MP3 player? I see. <laughs> Why are there MP3 players in 2090 that look like this as well? Hello, Dad. Mum has let us send you a message. We have been playing in the garden. There is a rabbit that comes to eat Mum's plants. She gets very cross with it. Shush. We are supposed to be talking about a holiday, not to the rabbit. Oh, but I like the rabbit. Dad, we went on holiday to Cornwall. Mum says it is near where you work, where you work. But why can't we come and see you? Anyway, the holiday was good. We went exploring in the old town and up on the cliff tops. Mum says that you are under the sea. Is it cold? Don't they have heating? Of course I do. Dad, Morgan has been where you work. Mum made her draw some pictures of what she saw. I also had a dream. No, it was a nightmare. There was something chasing you, and I saw a lighthouse. Is there a lighthouse where you work? No. Morgan thinks it's scary. Huh? I don't. I think it's exciting. We have looked on a map which Mum got, but there is no lighthouse. In that, there is no lighthouse. In that, there is no lighthouse. 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 <laughs> Dad does, he really does. Creepy. And I'm not talking about the acting ability of the children. Uh, they seem to be having dreams about the lighthouse, which nobody really knows exists. There you go. Oh, and that was that? Hello, Dad. Oh, I'm not listening to all that again. <laughs> it was quite quiet. I'll see if I can boost the volume so you can really hear that. Um, but yeah, it looks like, even though it says one out of three, there's only the one track here. Interesting. Okay. 
And these are the kids. These are the uh, the actors, <laughs> probably. Corbin Hart, project manager, right? So he's taking the fall for uh, for the four million pound disaster. Is this another tablet? Yep. Pictures of the kids. <laughs> cool. Nice. Oh, look at that. Well, it's not on a ship, but I guess it still works. Noodles. Okay. Let's just back away from that, I guess. Oh. Alright. Okay, he's a fan of the... That looks identical to the key that I saw on the necklace last time. Where does that go? Somewhere here, somewhere in this time? I guess. I guess it's gotta be. Right, uh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> wait, 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 what about the rest? We got some baseballs up here. No keys hiding behind those? No, I guess I don't want to have a look. Uh, the car. No. A key, okay. We are picking up items, we are filling these gaps now. This is kind of interesting, right? No, I kind of wanted to see the rest of the desk, like over here, where there's like a rocket. Can I have a look at the screen? No, it's just in the other room, you can have a look at the screen. Wardrobe, sort of locker area, can't have a look at that. Can't have a look at the view. What's this? Oh. Uh, the, the children's drawings, I presume? Quite a few of them, okay, yeah. That's ominous. Especially when I zoom into what I think of the eyes. Nice octopus there, cool. I think he's missing a few legs, but... Ah, the lighthouse. Right. That's a very good recreation, actually. What's this meant to be? What? Hang on, is this meant to be the capsule? <laughs> I think so. One thing they did get wrong, though. The light was not working. Still. Cool. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't think that bodes well for Daddy. Or is that meant to be me? Because I've got that a goatee, haven't I? Yeah, that might be Ben. What's this? I don't know. What do we got here? Corbin Hart, right? Okay. Ah, something inside it. Right, okay, uh, a message from his loving wife. Corbin, the children are worrying me. It began a week ago. Morgan started having disturbing dreams. The imagery she describes is frightening. Then, a few nights ago, Miles began having nightmares. He describes you as being chased through darkening corridors underneath a lighthouse. There's no lighthouse on SE031, is there? I sought some advice from Dr. Romana, who suggested a dream journal. I've gathered a few of the images together and I'll have a courier deliver them to the Dios main depot. Hopefully you should have them by the 29th. As well as some recent holiday snaps, I'll also include a new voice message from the kids. Which, I guess we just heard, yeah. Uh, I'm sure it'll bring a little light to your underwater world. I wish you'd invest in a new player. That antique you have is so useless. I know you like all that retro stuff, but it isn't very practical, is it? I might include a few of this week's tracks from the music charts. And there you go, that's from Samantha. Okay, well she didn't. So, thanks Samantha. Um, alright. American football and a helmet, right? Couple boxes. Aha, uh -huh, hang on. Ah, something in the box. Right. I'm going to let you read this one because I'm having trouble doing that myself and I want to rest my voice. I will read it later on though. I will. Goodbye, Malachi. I'm sorry I failed you. Bad stuff is going down tonight. I want no part of it. Yeah, okay. Everyone seems to be thinking that uh, Magnus is strange after he's start after he started working on that elevator. There you go. Okay. Still haven't seen any beeps. Still looking for one more symbol. Remember. And uh, if I can, what well, we've got the uh, we've got the Z, we've got the X. Uh, we don't have the, the Y coordinates for um, for the capsule, and we don't have like there's a there's a a date and a time right at the top. We don't know what that is either. Right. Can't have a look at that. Okay. Um, let's leave. 
Is there any way to get into Magnus' room? I kind of hope so. Surely I can use this again somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, right? Oh, was that the end? Okay, no, not quite, not quite. We've got a little sort of kitchen area. And now I'm reminded of Alien Isolation. Or just the Alien films for some reason. Uh, right. Um. Okay. Wait, did I just move across? I think I just moved across. I've just confused myself. Let's go back. I think I came through there. Right, I did, yes. Let's have a look at this microwave. Alright. Uh, let's heat some things up. For one second. Or oh, two seconds. Can we open this? Do we want that? I guess not. What are these? In dreams and in love, there are no impossibilities. The secret to success is to know something nobody else knows. Take advantage of your good luck, it may not last. Well, these are fortune cookies? Sure. What about on this side? Here we go. More fortune cookies, more booze, more water. And that's that. Is there a point to this? I don't know if there is. It just seems like it's interactive for no good reason. I don't know. Doesn't look like we can use anything. We don't have any food we want to heat up. I don't think we're hungry, even though we should be after such a long journey, but yeah, okay. Um, let's back away from this and let's have a look at what they were eating. Right, obviously some sort of Chinese. Okay, yeah. There we go. We don't want to take that with us? No? Okay, fair enough. I don't know what that would be, to be honest. Hmm. Doesn't look much more appealing than the uh, the slop they were eating in 1912, to be honest. I wonder if onion jam was involved. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, some balloons. So this is where they had the party and everything, right? Is that like a glass ceiling? I don't think I like the idea of that being underwater, really. Um. Yeah, happy birthday, Ivan. Let's have a look at... At this area here. What's that? Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't really want to have a look at the glass. I wanted to look at what was behind the glass. So, yeah. Now, let's move this way and turn right and have a look at this. Happy birthday, Ivan. Right, I see. So whatever was written down there pops up up there. Cool. Hello, Ivan. <laughs> Hello, Ivan. <laughs> uh, right. Great. I don't think I needed a close-up of that calibre, but there you are. Okay, can we get a different angle on the food? What's this? Another door? I guess, but, uh, you know, a door that we can't go through. Let's move towards the counter over there. Do I want any of this stuff? Citron, lemon drink, Q2A, the Fab Cola stuff, the, the noodles? Not a great deal of choice down here, by the looks of it. And, uh, no, I don't want any of this stuff, so let's close that up. Um, and I don't want to have a look at the table either, I don't think, no. So, what do we got over here? Right, okay. No, don't want to take that with us, it's a wheel for something, a, a chair, I guess. Some more food, ah, hang on, we got something. <laughs> just, I just want to use this laser screwdriver more. Can you blame me? The remote control thing? The key? I don't know, the lantern so I can see what I'm dealing with? Right, I don't... I don't know what I need. Something I don't have. Here we go. Uh, quick recipes, okay. Oh, chicken chow mein, that's what it was? Could have fooled me. And I've deleted it again. Oh! It did skip from data log 4 to 8, I think, so yeah, okay, we've got 5 now. Uh, the party. Forget the cooking, a handy delete function means that I can use the data pad as a notepad and record the actions of the other crew, while it looks like I'm cooking. Magnus is twitchy and unpredictable. There's an atmosphere that doesn't lend itself to a birthday party. Poor Ivan. I think he feels that it's his fault. This wasn't helped by Vermal. It seems he too thinks that Magnus is losing it, but lacks subtlety in his questioning. I really don't think that... I think being down here is affecting your sanity is the best thing to say to a possible psychotic. Probably not. Six? Yeah, a man who wasn't there. Magnus is staring at me. I'm pretending to read the cookery notes, but he knows. I'm sure of it. This... <laughs> what 
Well, of course he knows, because you're not looking at cookery notes, you're typing away on the tablet. Anyway, there's something about him. Something evil. <laughs> what am I saying? Evil? He's just sick. The others are afraid of him. He's mumbling. It sounds like a song. No, it's a poem. As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. I just need that print, and I'll know it's him. Proof! I've got them! A complete set of prints! The other crew took an age to get out of the room, but I, but I was alone in the end. At least, I thought I was alone. I couldn't help feel someone was watching me. I caught a glimpse of someone, reflected in the refrigerator. It looked like Magnus, but there was something else. He seemed to glow, like the thing I saw outside my room. Some kind of high vis gear? No, it was all over. It was his skin. I'm going to get back to my cabin, pour myself a stiff one and run these prints. At last! The answer is so close! I think that's the end of that, yeah. Okay. So yeah, in picking up that, I think we're trying to sort of finish her work off. I don't know where she is exactly. She was obviously, she was called away, right? Because of the power outage? Everyone's disappeared. It's kind of weird. Nothing up here? No? Okay, let's move on. Can we not go around anymore? No? Oh, what's that? Is that a Spitfire or something? Right? <laughs> Can I interact with it? No. Okay, that is... I think that. Hmm. We definitely can't go through here. No. And we definitely can't go to that door? No, we can't actually really approach the table apart from looking at the table itself. We can't we can't lean round to the left or anything. No, that's it. Uh right. So that's for the robot. Don't know what to do with that. Don't know what to do with the key. Laser screwdrivers coming in kinda handy. That's I think the fingerprints. And I got this uh, hang on, yeah, I got the code, right? I got the code. That machine that I passed a while back? Where I could press each button individually? Where was it? Hang on. Are we at the crossroads again? I think so. So I think it's this way? Yeah, this um, this sort of storage area. With all the beakers, right. That code. 391865. Is this the area she was talking about? 391865. Yes, yes it is, okay. Right. Okay, I think I've seen one of these before. Right, okay, it's filling another gap. It's it's a Xylize. Okay. What else did I want to do? Right, I actually, yeah, I wanted to go back to, um... Uh, what was her name? Was it down here? Yes, Taku's room, that's it. Uh, Mitsuya Taku's room, so let's open the door up. I want to have a look at this little thing down here. Can we use any of this stuff? No, the key, not even the key. No, okay. Um, so this is looking, this is good for looking at fingerprints, right? Maybe... I was gonna say maybe I need to use it with the robot, but I need to use that with the robot and then push some buttons, I think. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything that I've seen that I haven't been able to use yet. Uh, what, what, uh, the kitchen? Just a moment ago, the kitchen, we had a look at that uh, the bottle, or whatever it was over there. So let's go around, let's have a look at it again. Here. Yes! Yes! I mean, what, we need to use something else? Okay, it's kind of like following my cursor. Right. Still there. I guess there's something over here we need to have, actually have a look at. Something with a fingerprint on it. This. Ah! Yes, yes! Wait, hang on. Right. Uh, that's it! That's what it's for! We got a fingerprint! That's fantastic! Right, uh, is there another one? Or another two to find, maybe? It's possible. Okay, so we got that one. Um, okay. Uh, let's, let's take that back. And see if we can use maybe that with the little machine. Maybe this wasn't working because there was nothing on it. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm getting used to this now. Uh, that way, no, no, we can't look left, annoyingly, at this thing. We have to examine the table, then go left. Right. 
So now it works. Slides right in. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so she mentioned she had a full set. So we're, we're comparing them. We're comparing them. Okay. This is something out of Ace Attorney. It looks like. That looks kind of similar. No. Oh, that's virtually identical, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. No. <laughs> I wouldn't make a very good forensic expert. I think I'd be jumping to conclusions all the time. Aha! Here we are. Understands me. Confirms it. Who's manipulating Drake, Polly White, and Magnus? Wow. That's some real manipulation, isn't it? Some crazy, crazy shit in 2090. Okay. Um, well, that's. That's kind of cool, I guess. But that's kind of what I assumed. I don't know what we're going to do with this information, honestly. Um, we've still got it. I. Um, there's still a slot there. There's still something else to find. Oh, yeah, hang on. That key. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. And again. And maybe again. Yeah. That's not where the key goes, is it? It is! Okay, and we need... Oh, no, no, we don't need anything else. That was it, that was it. Oh, shit, okay. I'm really enjoying this game. It helps when... You make progress. If when you're just sort of wandering around the area, it's not the same. Z Whoa, hang on. Okay, this this is important. Zero 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 five. I'm thinking, yeah, that was probably an option back in the last video, so hang on. Zero zero. Okay. So that's that's the time. Do we need the date? Was there only one sort of five past midnight out of the choices? I don't know if I went through all the choices last time. But anyway, I've written that down. I'm sure that's what it's referring to. Okay, so let's back out of that. That's 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 brilliant. Okay. Oh, Ben's getting ambitious. We're actually uh we're using the computer now. Okay, it's the log. Alright, again, I'm going to save my voice. I'll read this a little bit later on. Do not make a transmat jump, please. Goodbye, my friend, wherever you may be. Malachi went rogue for whatever reason. Wow. Okay. Right. Uh, anything else? Let's just turn back on ourselves on the other side. Uh, no, it's just a reflection of what I'm seeing down here, I think. Yeah, everything is so damn shiny. I don't know what they made this place out of, but yeah, it doesn't require too much dusting, it seems. Um, okay. So yeah, that's great. We're actually starting to get this. I still have no idea where these Y coordinates would be. Um. Okay. Right. Part of me wants to go back in time a little bit. I don't know whether it's to 2004, 1912, or 2000 BC or whatever it was. The Bronze Age. But I think there's still, like, unfinished business. Apparently, um, in a previous video, someone mentioned that I could actually go back to... Uh, the top of the lighthouse and really explore it if I just went down a rung on the ladder. So I want to do that. 
Um, I want to go back to 2004 so I can have a look at this floppy disk as well, because I still haven't seen that. Um, are we done with this area, though? I don't know. Let's just have one last little whip round. I don't know. Maybe like last time, I'll I'll just sort of edit in the good bits. Okay, so it's the medical center again. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Is that... Where did he go? That's the date. That's the date. We have the time. We have the time of the day. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving this bit in. This is important. This is a highlight. Tw Twenty of April, ninety, two thousand and ninety. I guess right. Fantastic. Oh, so so that's the thing. So we've got three of the patterns. We've got two of the coordinates. We've got the date and time. We're looking for one more strange symbol and one more set of coordinates. Okay, haven't found much else, to be honest. No more beeps or anything like that. Still don't really know how to uh, to control the robot. The buttons don't seem to do anything. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do now is go back to 2004, if possible. So that involves me crawling through the vent again. Um, that is, unless there's something else to explore. I mean, I jumped in the vent. I don't know if there was another way to go, honestly. So let's go back to where I climbed in initially, and let's keep exploring. Can we do that? Right, so up we go. Yeah? Yeah! Oh no. Oh, hence the vent. Right, so yeah. That makes sense now. <laughs> Probably should have checked that before I climbed in, but what do you know. Alright, yeah, so let's back away. And uh, through the System Shock 2 area. Back to the, the lift. That's it, yeah. Um, okay, is there a ladder or something? I don't think so. I think I just jumped down. Ah. Okay, there it is. Up we go. Well climbed. And up the ladder. Yeah. Actually, let's keep going up the ladder. Right. Oh, that, is that it? That's as far as we go? Oh. Alright. Uh, is this... Oh, this is where I jumped on, so there's nothing else above me. Apart from... The ocean, I suppose, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, let's head back towards the hole. Let's avoid the dynamite, I think. <laughs> and let's climb in. I can't see anything. Did they just say Parker should go away? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not actually sure if this is the way I came in. I can't turn around, apparently. Oh yeah, I did see this. Yeah, okay. So hang on, let me just go back into the darkness. Do you want to play my seek? Or Shrewster? Emily wants to play. But it's just a worry with just two of us. No, I, I, you just play by yourselves, guys. I'll, I'll, I think I'm just going back to 2004. <laughs> Let me just, uh, yeah, let's go this way. Through here. That's it. Um, and the archway. That was it, right? Yeah! Not 2004, but 1912. <laughs> it's so nice to see the boiler again. Bloody hell, how long, have, how long have I been playing? Quite a long time. Let's um, let's get back to 2004, and then I think that's where I'm going to cut the video off, honestly. This has uh, been a long day of recording for me. So, to get back to 2004... One of the ways, at least, is to go down here. I don't know if it's the quickest, but it's the way I'm going. This way. Yes, I understand the concept. I've done this a few times now. In there, around the side of the boxes. Through here, and... The symbols are back. And we've gone forward in time 90 odd years. Yep. There's that symbol still there. Yeah, I've made a note of that one. Still looking for one more, though. Um, yeah, okay, so... We're out. We're out and about. 
Um, right, yeah. Let's start the next video off at this Discovery Center, because I think the first thing I'm going to do in Part 8 is have a look at this floppy disk that we found in 2000 BC. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, hope to see you next time. See you then. <laughs> An early prototype of a companion cube, perhaps? I I'm sorry, what was that? You need to speak up. Nice to know that some things haven't really changed in all these years. <laughs> Still can't pick up these tools that I'm sure would come in handy. Okay. Oh my god. What? What the fuck is this? Some pressure groups showed concern that giving a machine the power of matter manipulation was unethical and potentially dangerous. Hmm. They might have been right. Kid oh no. No, no, no. That's not a floppy disk reader, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> that would be too unbelievable. The database was originally backed up on DVD. <laughs> In 2019? Now that's unbelievable. <laughs> We're time traveling just to open someone else's presence. I mean, how bad can you be? Sapphire and steel, holy. What's this? That's ominous. Especially when I zoom into what I think of the eyes. Hello, Ivan. <laughs> Hello, Ivan. <laughs> that's not where the key goes, is it? It is! Okay, and we need. Oh no, no, we don't need anything else. That was it, that was it. Oh shit, okay. Okay, so it's the medical center again. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Is that... Where did he go? 